All right, mission two, Judge of Death. Open the door to the cathedral. So what's the... We're, so we're opening the door to the cathedral. That's what the key here is, right? Yeah, you just have to reach... The nice thing about this game is, uh, in contrast to Resident Evil and Onimusha, where it's open-ended the entire time and you have to figure shit out on your own, this game divides it up into missions, so you always kind of know when you're progressing. In a landscape painting, there's an eerie aura surrounding it. The whole game has an eerie aura surrounding it. I take it that's actually going to have an aura around it. Many of the books are recordings of the past civil court hearings, and the rest are records of births and birth. Words of interest. Incidents that occurred at night are traditional. It's as if the night turned people mad. Yeah, this game, because of the fixed camera sometimes, it does that thing where you have to like press your face up against everything in the area and press the examine button until you <laughs> find something of interest. Yeah, I noticed that in the uh, fourth one that did the same sort of thing. I think only in DMC did it really change the, the actual camera, am I right? Right. Um... I'm just gonna skip through here because these enemies constantly respawn to. There's a sculpture of a female in agony with a sword pierced through her chest. I can hear a voice. I am Alice Tor. The weak shall give their heart and swear their eternal loyalty to me. You got stabbed by another sword. Yep. Shit's so fucking cool. Gives what? the possessor lightning speed and aerial capabilities. No offense, but he would have been split in half for going through the hilt like that. <laughs> right. So we got our first new sword, and this one has a lightning element to it. And uh, it's kind of weird because in uh, Onimusha, the original one, in fact, all of them, the first sword you start out with is a lightning. Uh, ability sword, and I think they actually took the idea for Alistar from Ryzon, which is the name of the first sword you get in Onimusha. Uh, but the thing is, in Onimusha, the weapons had a special move you could do. In Devil May Cry here, Alistar is almost exactly the same as the sword you start out with, and even has the same moveset, and I think it even has the same, like, damage and shit that it does. Huh. And here's the shotgun which is what we're going to use because it's arguably one of the best weapons in the game. Really? Yeah. There is actually a little trick you can do in this game called shotgun twitching, which kind of in it, it kind of like in Devil May Cry, all of the abilities have like frames attached to them, kind of like fighting games, like Tekken, you press square for a jab and that takes 10 frames, right? Yeah, right. In this, uh, you can do what's called a move cancel. So what happens is when you do in the middle when you're in the middle of an attack you can interrupt it by pressing other buttons that so like if you were to jump and then fire you know uh, it, it's much more easy to do in Devil May Cry 3 
because then they're all meant to chain together. But in this game, I can't remember how exactly you do it, but you can cancel the reload animation of the shotgun by like, I think it's like dodge rolling or something. Or it's something, but you can like cancel the dodge roll and then fire again. Just and you can just constantly switch between hitting the two buttons and just rapid firing the shotgun. Oh, that would be awesome. And so you see that a lot in speed runs where people where people will do that just to do massive damage in a short amount of time. Oh yeah, no doubt. You're gonna do a ton of damage with your shotgun that fucking doesn't need to reload. This is a great camera on the game. <laughs> yeah, in the fountain. You missed every attack on this. I gotta say, dude, when you shoot them, they break apart. Every yeah, time. the shotgun's great in this game. They were still messing around with weapon balancing in the first two games. That's why the firearms are a lot more powerful in this game. They made them super nerfed in the third game. Minus Weren't they the same way in the fourth one, though? That even the, in the fourth one, they didn't really do too yeah, much damage. Yeah, they're mostly just to keep your combo going in the later games. This one, you can actually take on almost the entire game with just the firearms and not have a problem. Other than, of course, you know, tanking or uh, style rating and uh, not getting any points for it. Because they're, uh, they're, they won't... Um... What's the word I'm looking for? They're not gonna reward you for not using your sword. Yeah. That's the one thing I liked about Devil May Cry 4, though. It's like, you play as what's-his-name that has the arm through the whole thing. Uh, Nero? Yeah, you play as Nero through the whole thing, and you have trouble taking everybody on. He has a little hard time with it, you know? And then, in the second half of the game, you turn to be playing Dante... And you go through all of those exact same demons that you took on as Nero, and you just manhandle them. Oh, yeah. It's hilarious. I, that's what I found funny about it, is because, like, once you finish the level playing as Dante, Dante just makes them look like a bitch. Like, they're a bunch of bitches, because they're. He just. He makes Nero look weak oh, as I shit. Think, I think I figured it out. Because you need to press the lock on button to fire. You just let go of the, the lock-on button, and it skips the reload animation, so you can just constantly <laughs> fire it like that. You see that? Yeah, I see that. That's awesome. You can abuse the shit out of that in this game. You are? Or... No, I'm not going to. I don't. Well, I might in certain situations, like if I'm going to die, but you, I said you can abuse the shit out of it in this game. It's pretty freaking neato. It's a statue of God. I mean, a guardian of God. Okay, I need to get through this door. But, okay, that's what it is. How do I jump up? Damn. Because it said aerial capabilities. I used up all my devil trigger for that. There we go. Now I can open the door here. Sweet! You gotta do a lot of wall jumping up until we can unlock uh, the double jump ability. You, where you can double jump in the air. You yeah. don't have to hit a wall to do it. Wow. You got an army sitting here waiting oh, for God, you. Oh, God, I hate that. What happened? They do this attack where uh, they post you up on the strings like you're a puppet too. So the way to do different combos with your attacks is when you press the melee button, you wait a second and then finish the combo. Whereas if you just do your three hit, see on the second one you can do the million stab combo, which is that's cool. cool. Guiding souls gather. What's this thing? Oh, okay. I remember now. And then there's a trap door here, we go down here. I still think What's-Her-Name is a bitch for fucking abandoning us in this. Oh yeah. Like, where the hell is she? It's pretty common in Capcom games, so they're just like, yeah, you have a partner, but you're pretty much alone the whole damn game. They're also known for not letting anything die. Yeah, no kidding. So this is where we get introduced to our new enemy type. The Reaper?
This looks like it's trouble. And the best part is, they have the scissors from the guy from Clock Tower. See that? From Clock Tower? Yep. What? Is that a movie or a game? That's a game. I don't know Clock Tower then. It's, uh... <laughs> I'm waiting for every movie. Like, what the fuck? What is the guy that you play this with? Is he stupid or like... It's born a, under a rock. It's a really classic. What the fuck? What was the point? At least you don't run out of ammo. Yeah. I think you got them all. It's the goddamn spiders. Go back out here. I think we can put the Staff of Judgment down. Actually, you know what? I totally missed putting the Staff of Judgment in that other spot I was supposed to put it at. 